Hey guys, we're just gonna jump right into this video and this is gonna be a different style than what I normally do. So get used to it. I'm gonna be making probably videos in the future like this. I wanna talk about body image and women getting older and that triggering society and men in particular. So Paulina Poroskova posted a photograph in her in a bikini April 29th of this year and I've been wanting to talk about this since then but I just haven't gotten around to it so here she is at 57 years old and you guys know I'm 46 so I'm right behind her here she is at 57 looking like this looking like this this I mean just Every time I see this picture, I just pause because I don't look like this and I'm 46, <laughs> okay? And not only do I not look like this, I've never looked like this. Not as a full-time model, never. Not when I was 19, not in my 20s, not in my 30s. Never, ever, period, period. And so she's 57 looking like this, okay? And some man decided to post because it was so triggering to see a 57-year-old woman not in not just in a bikini, not just any 57 year old woman, a ex-supermodel who's still modeling, by the way, at 57, still getting checks, still getting paid for her looks, right? And it's just triggering. It's triggering to this guy, it's triggering to a lot of men, it's triggering secretly to a lot of women as well. I think just someone being a model is extremely triggering. Somebody who's getting paid because they look a certain way and I can understand that, I really can. We've always been in a society, especially now more than ever, because of social media. Back when I grew up, we didn't have social media. We had beepers, we had no, we rarely had computers. So you didn't have this instant access to people. And models were just working individuals that you really didn't see. You really, you weren't that up close, you didn't see them. Average people didn't see them on the runways because they had no access to go into a show. They didn't see them. They only saw them in magazines. That's the only access they had to working models, right? So now we're in a day and age where everyone wants that attention. And they want to be noticed. They want to be recognized. They want to be called beautiful. And models have always been and always will be the epitome of beauty. Once you say you're a model, people start looking for errors. They want to see, oh my gosh, but you don't look like this girl, or aren't you too short to be a model? Aren't you too this? I've heard it all because I'm five foot seven, right? Yet, she's the one getting the paychecks. So either way, she's good enough, right? People will always look for problems when you're a model. They won't look for it in anyone else because everybody else is just average and they feel comfortable with them. So whenever you say the word model, ooh, it gets so triggered with women. Very, very triggered. Very. And nobody wants to admit that. Nobody wants to really talk about that because that's the epitome. That's the epitome. If you, 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 know, you get to be in an ad. You get to be on a billboard. You're in television. And someone's paying you, your, your looks are worthy. Now, we all know that a lot of people are good looking, okay? And a lot of people may be even better looking than the actual models, right? But they're not getting the paychecks, okay? People on the corner are telling them they're cute or their mom and this, that, and the other. But for some reason, it's not good enough to get paid. And that's the difference, okay? So this guy comes on and he says, you must be in so much pain to keep posting bikini pictures at your age. Now, I'm a professional writer and I'm a words person. And most of you guys know this because you follow my other channel, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon. And I could see the revelation through language always, especially you know, when somebody's writing something, more so than talking, the writing, 
like the words you choose. You must be in so much pain to keep posting bikini pictures at your age. So this tells me that he's always looking at her pictures. How would he know what she's always posting? I've always thought that getting old and ugly is the hardest on pretty people. So there we have already just this kind of animosity, you know, and it's something that a lot of people have as well. They just don't vocalize it. When somebody really good looking or somebody who got a lot of attention when they were younger, you know, gets older or something happens to them, maybe they get sick. It's like they feel a little relief, like, yes, now, now she's not so pretty anymore, which is ironic because it still doesn't change your circumstance. You know, imagine that you are an unattractive person who got bullied and you're upset at the pretty people who got a lot of privilege. Them getting sick or them getting a few wrinkles still doesn't change the fact that you're, you're not better looking. You're still not getting the check. So I never understood how people feel good when something happens to somebody that they're, you know, was considered beautiful. I'm like, well, that still doesn't change you though. The fall from grace is so much farther when you were beautiful. Ugly people were always ugly. So ugly, so getting old and ugly isn't a change. In summary, I feel your pain. He feels her pain because he, he was always ugly. Is that what it is? I pray you can come to terms with your mortality. So mortality is a whole different topic. She's not dying from an illness. She's 57. So I don't know why he's saying you could come to terms with your more how, how he went from pretty or beautiful to mortality. We all get old and ugly. You just had to fall from a greater height than the rest of us. Tears, times, infinity. So this person is very triggered, you know, at her beauty, at her age for still looking beautiful at 57, right? Look at this. Look at this. And here she is. Fabulous. Fabulous. Look at this. Like, look, just, oh gosh. Whew. Just take a moment right now. And I was thinking about this the other day while I was out on the subway and just walking around and kind of looking at average people, right? Regular people who are just minding their business. They're not models. They're not on TV. They're not in the spotlight. They're just regular people living life, you know, doing their own thing. And I thought about this and I said, well, she's 57. If people are having uproar over her posting a bikini picture, who the F looks like this? Not at 57, but at any age. I was looking at teenagers I was going for a run and they, they were just getting out of school. And I'm looking at these girls, right? These young girls. And most of them are obese. Let's, let's keep it 100. Most of them are obese. They're out of shape. They don't look like this at any age. At any age. Think of the people that you know. Just the regular people that you know. Your neighbors. The people you go to school with. The people you work with. They don't look like this. Period. I don't care if they're 12. I don't care if they're 18. And let's not talk about social media. Social media is such a tiny, 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 tiny little world. And some of you guys watch, you know, YouTube and Instagram. You're on there all day. So you really believe that that's society. And it's not. It's such a tiny, tiny speck. The people on there are not the real people that you see on the street. It's not, it doesn't. It, they don't represent America. And in fact, most of the people on social media don't look like that either. They've got Photoshop and all this weird stuff, tons of makeup and angles and lighting. They don't look like that in public, period. If you met them, they would not look like this. Look at this woman. Like, I just, I can't get over this. And she's kept herself up very well, okay? Very well, very well right? And people are triggered. And men, a lot of the men are triggered. And I noticed that they get very triggered at the very thing that they love. They love beautiful women. 
but there's something threatening about a beautiful woman, right? There's something threatening about a beautiful woman, but there's also something alluring. It's like the very thing that they want, they hate the most. There was um, a guy I was seeing, gosh, it was so long ago. Um, and I remember us sitting down. I was a model at the time, full time. And he was really happy, like in the beginning, because he could show me off. He could show off my pictures. He could brag and get clout about dating a model and this, that, and the other, right? And I remember that uh, we were sitting down, I think we were on his bed, and he was just looking at my face, he was touching my face, and he said to me, I don't want anybody to look at you, I'm going to put a bag over your head. And it was so disturbing, because the very thing that he wanted and bragged about, and, you know, just the very thing that, that most men want right? Because it builds up their self-esteem. It gives them a certain level of prestige when they're with someone beautiful. And I'm not talking about an average girl that just happens to be cute. I'm talking about prestige like your girlfriend's in a, in a magazine, your girlfriend's on a billboard, your girlfriend's certified beautiful by big companies who have money, who, who pay, who pay for the looks, okay? There's a big difference, guys. And so, for some reason, he wanted no one else to look at me. He wanted to put a bag over my face. My looks threatened him and triggered him. The same way in which her looks, now that she's older, 57, people are excited that she's got wrinkles because now they feel what less threatened by her. Look how fabulous she's, she is. Like, are you kidding me? I'm just going through her, her Instagram here. Look at this. I mean, are you joking? Now, women her age, most women her age, still don't look like her. They're still not looking like this. They're still not. Look at her next to this woman who's much younger. Who is this? I don't know who this is. But she's just, I mean, she's fabulous. And so, there seems to be a problem with that. Old and ugly. Old and ugly, right? Now, this is her when she was young. My goodness. I mean, just imagine. Just imagine. <laughs> you know, um, look at this. Just imagine the secret enemies she had around her pissed, waiting for her to get a scratch on her face. Now, this is what she looks like. She, You're supposed to get older. You're supposed to have wrinkles. You're supposed to. Okay? This is her without makeup. You're supposed to have that. You're supposed to as you get older. I certainly don't look the same as I did when I was 18. And I don't want to. I don't want to look like that. So here we go. She's out minding her business, doing charity work. She's got these great kids and she's enjoying life. And here someone comes in, in her space, right? To tell her that she's old and ugly. And so, let me go back. This is what I want to do here. I want to now what I want to do, let's go and look at her um, when she was younger. Look at that. I just, this just pisses people off. <laughs> It just pisses people off. Pisses them off. How dare she? Look at all these Vogue covers. You know, I'm always rooting for the, for for fabulous people. I really am. I have no envy for be beauty. 
I have no envy for good looking men and things like that. I'm not into looks anyway. I don't think I don't I date corny men. <laughs> I date the corniest dudes ever. Period. I don't care about looks, I don't do cute, none of that. As long as you act right, I'm game. Look at this. I don't know why this is on Etsy. Um This just pisses people off. They want to talk about her falling from grace. Look at this. My goodness. Look at that. And the interesting thing about this is no, even now, no one looks like that. Who do you know who has a body like this at 57? Or whatever age, 27. These girls don't have that. They got pouches. I know, I see it. I see them on the bus. I see them on the street. I live the real New York life. I'm outside. People are not looking like this, okay? They're not. They're not. And so, interesting enough. Now, let's go back to her Instagram. Hang on a second. Let's go back. That's me. That's me, 46. No makeup, nothing. And men come for me, too. They always talk about, oh, you're older. And I love being older. I never, you couldn't pay me to want to be in my 20s again. You couldn't pay me. Gosh. And I'm telling you this, I, didn't, am I, I look better now with the confidence and the self-esteem to go along with it. Something about getting older, I love seeing older women. They're fabulous. Just the look in their eyes, there's no ditzy loss. You know, we know what we want. Look at this. And everybody's pissed off. As soon as she posts a photograph, look at this. What? Girl, if you don't stop playing. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you don't stop. Look at this. Look at that. Fabulous. And it's triggering. This is triggering to men. To see her like this. They know that she's never going to want them. That's the thing. And a lot of these men who are in cell, you know, in these little groups where, you know, and I feel bad for them too. I feel bad that they got picked on. I saw a lot of people get picked on when I was growing up. I wasn't one of them, so I can't even... I don't know. I never got picked on. I was never called ugly. So I, you know what? I can't, I don't know the pain that it is to have that my whole life and get rejected by boys. I was trying to get rid of these idiots. Uh, I don't know what that's like. And I wasn't no top supermodel on Vogue covers. That wasn't me. And I still don't know what that's like. Look at this. They're triggered by photographs like this or her body showing very triggered by it look at this they're so angry like yeah you're the type of girl who rejected me now you're older and she's older though looking like this shit look at this sexy look at this are you kidding and so after she posted this um celebrities came on and they wanted to show pictures of their old and so-called old and ugly <laughs> <laughs> you know, and um, she got a lot of support. Let's go back to that photograph. She got so many comments. Look at this. So many. Look at this. So many people came out. And even um, people started showing pictures of their so-called old and ugly. Look at this. Hang on a second. Look at that fly. <laughs> so I think Lisa Renna, who looks amazing as well, um, came out and posted her photographs. Oh, she's 58. There we go. 
she's 58, um, so they're about the same age. Look at this. I mean, I think it just bothers people when, um, you get older and you're still fabulous, you know, like they want you to, it's like they want you to be ugly. Oh, here it is. I think that's the picture she posted. Hang on, guys. All right, I don't know where the photo is, but um, I'll try and find it for you. But I think it's something that people, you know, like a lot of people are always waiting for you to fall, you know? They're waiting for you to fall secretly. Here it is. They're waiting for you to fall when they feel that they, you know, can't measure up. So now, so now it's like, here it is, look. <laughs> well, I'm 58 and here's my old and ugly. <laughs> Gosh, look at the old and ugly, right? And so people want you to fall. They want you to, you know, they want you to be a mess. People are waiting for me to fall. They're waiting for me to, you know, have a bunch of problems. Um, and that is not going to eradicate their issues. You know, it's not going to eradicate their issues. But there's something about a woman aging, you know, and us having that power, that confidence, that really triggers a lot of men. It does. Because they know we can't fall, we're not going to fall for the okie doke like a young girl is. They can't impress us like the, they can the young girl. They can't fool us like the young girl. Like we have too much knowledge. We have too much wisdom. Uh, we know ourselves. We're confident. And so it's just like, oh, well, you're old, now you're worthless, right? And the interesting thing is that the young girls don't want them either. So there's a lot of worth, you know, women are supposed to be only worth um, their beauty and men are worth their money. And I remember, I don't know who said this, but on the internet and in a lot of these red pill communities and I, that's dying out, this whole high value man thing, thank goodness. And, you know, they say, oh, you know, after a woman gets a certain age, she's pointless. She's pointless without her beauty. But men age like fine wine because they can up their value with their finances. But, it's, I mean, if you look, really, if you're being realistic, most men are not making millions of dollars. Like, this is why I tell you guys to get off of social media and actually go out into the world. Most men don't have a lot of money. They're not rich. They're not in these big statuses. Like... Most men are just average men. You know, they're making their 60,000 a year, 70 or whatever, taking care of them. They're not rich. They're not, they're not millionaires. So it's like all these men are not aging, you know, fabulously and, you know, making all this money when they get old. Like, no, they're old. They're just getting old and still have no damn money. <laughs> so it's like, you know, with women, we can make money. And, you know, enjoy our beauty or whatever it gets us and enjoy it until it runs the hell out or completely gone or whatever. And we still have the confidence or whatever else. And at, you know, an older age, you don't necessarily want, you've already had the men that you're going to have. She's already got kids. She's been married. And, you know, she started talking about feeling invisible, you know, and they took it to a whole other extent, you know, and I think it was just, she was just misunderstood in that way and people you know didn't feel sorry for her because she was a supermodel okay because she was a supermodel and because she was a supermodel all of a sudden there's no empathy for people like her there's no empathy and that goes the same for rich people oh they're rich why do they have problems it's like you know it goes for any privilege you're not allowed to complain if you are beautiful, if you're rich, if you're, you have some sort of privilege, like you, you're not allowed to have a problem, which is unfair. And so this whole thing with women being old, getting older after 35 and just being worthless is absolutely ridiculous because 
you can get whatever you want at any age. There's seven year olds dating, get what they want, and they're dating men their age or younger. I attract men of all ages. I'm talking 18 and up, honey, and that is no exaggeration. I can walk down the street right now, and a freaking 18 year old will try and get my number, or a 21 year old, or whatever. A lot of 20 something year olds. And it's not because I look 20, because I don't, you know, it's just the way that I carry myself. And I'm sure men are intimidated by her, men her age, because she's fly, and they know she is. It's not like she looks like, you know, one of these gremlins. I mean, look at her. Look at this. Look at this. Like, are like are we delusional? I just can't. I mean, look at this commercial she did. Are you serious? Look at the look. Look. Oh my gosh. I cannot. I can't. I can't. And older women are triggered because they don't look like that at her age either. They don't look like that. They're not looking like this. Look at these abs. Crazy. This this is this whole conversation is nuts. Look at her. Look at her. Fabulous. Yep. Fabulous. And um I remember I just wanted to say something else before I get out of here. Oh gosh. There's so much to, to think about in here. And I want you guys to go into the comments as well. Hang on a second. Um, let me go to Nia Long. Because she made a comment before saying that, you know, wait a minute, what the hell is going on? <laughs> um, search Nia. Here she is. She made a comment as well saying that she felt pressure about still looking good. You know, I think she's 50 or so. And she's like, so fly. Like, are you kidding me? How old is Nia? Let me get let me get accurate. Hang on a second. Age. She's 51. She's 51 years old. Looking like this. Right? Looking like this. And she said that she felt pressure to still, you know, look good and things like that. Uh, as she gets older, because she was always that it girl, you know, that everybody had a crush on. She always played that part in the movies. And, um, you know, she's beautiful. Look at this. That's it. Now, I don't know that anybody comes for her saying old and ugly, but they probably do. Like, if she wanted to flaunt in a little bathing suit, they would probably come in and have some stupid remark to say. And it's just so triggering to individuals because... You feel good about yourself. You know, you're confident. And, um, and that, that's offensive to a lot of people. It's just so offensive. So offensive to be an older woman and still have confidence and still be beautiful. And it's like people want to come in and try and cut you down. Look at this. This was Nia. I don't know how old. Look at this. And here's her. She's fabulous. Gosh. Look at this. Incredible. <laughs> and so, um, I, you know, as a society, we just have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do. Because, you know, women are going to age. And that's just the end of the conversation. We're all going to age. And I'm privileged to be able to get older. There are people who are dying by the seconds. Especially now, mass shootings. They don't get to even see 25, some people. And I have the privilege to get older and have life experience and to enjoy yourself. You don't want to, I don't want to be 20 again. And I'm sure she doesn't either. She doesn't want to be 30. She's already gone through those phases. You guys, for those of you who are old, older, you understand what I'm saying. Like, you're not, you're not intrigued by all this shit. And as far as men, 
what we have to be chasing men 24 7 you know what I mean this is ridiculous and so you guys know what I look like I did a video on you know how I stay fit and everything you know what my body looks like honey and it's getting better and better way better than when I was in my 20s or 30s or whatever way better way better my health is better I have high self-esteem and everything else and you know she's still fabulous fabulous here and still fabulous here so if you guys are still triggered there's something you need some inner work you need to do with yourself and figure that out everybody's not considered pretty and that is the reality that's the reality everybody's not traditionally pretty everybody's not going to be a movie star everybody's not going to be a supermodel they're not going to look like this genetically okay that doesn't mean you don't have value otherwise okay that doesn't mean you're not giving loving it doesn't mean you're not important it just means you're not a model that's it and to watch someone fall from grace or wait for someone to get acne or get be overweight that still doesn't change your circumstance so you have to figure yourself out and get your own confidence and stop looking at these people you know and hoping that they fail you know because even if they fail that doesn't bring you up guys it doesn't all right that's all i have to say um I'll be posting my old and uglies. <laughs> I'll be posting my 25 inch waist and 34 and a half inch hips. <laughs> and what, whatever little abs I got going on here. And piss off whoever wants to talk about me being 46 and, 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 and being sad and waiting for mortality. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys this is I'm, I'm done i'm done uh like subscribe share and all that good stuff no makeup needed is a beauty and lifestyle channel where i give you guys tips and tricks on how to be your most fabulous self but we're going to go more into self-esteem and how to be fabulous I, I just don't talk about the outside you know, skincare and that stuff, how to get fly from the inside so you're not up in other people's business. And uh, how to feel great with no makeup and all the stuff you got to add on and cover up so that you can, you can fake it, so that you're walking around fake and making fun of the people who are on all these covers, you know, hoping that we fall from grace. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video.